Pops. Welcome back to my channel. I am starting a budget. Um, I actually had started this this month in January, but um, we had some unexpected things come up that kind of threw a wrench into the works. Like my husband was really sick. We had a couple of things that happened. So we're starting fresh in February. All right. We're a one income family up to plus the cat makes three. Um, and he doesn't make a whole lot of money. So, um, I do have a, uh, Etsy store. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Um, I do have an Etsy store and I do sell on eBay for extra income, um, and Poshmark as well. And through the marketplace. So that, you know, hopefully that's an extra hundred dollars at least a month. If not, maybe a little bit more. We just kind of, you know, try to get, uh, my main goal is just to try to earn enough to pay our health insurance now since it's gone up. So, um, so we're, with what he makes and no more, we're fortunate because our bills are not really that expensive. Um, not in the wintertime, they are in the summertime because, um, where I live, they charge ridiculous amounts of money for power in the summertime. Hopefully this summer that's going to be evened out because there were some issues with our power company anyway. Um, so yeah, so with what he makes, we should be able to save more than what we're saving. So where's the money going? That's what we need to figure out. So we're starting to budget it. Um, I was going to do the cash envelopes, but, uh, I pay everything either i have two automatic payments and then everything else is done with my debit card except well two bills are are paid by check sometimes um like my light bill because they charge you to uh they charge you to excuse me they charge you to pay that with the card either way um whether you pay it over the phone or whether you're going to pay it if you charge do it with the phone or with a card, they're going to charge you. So, anyway, um, I was just trying to think. Something flew through in my mind right quick. Okay, so, we're going to start budgeting this stuff out and try to figure out where this money is going to, because I have no clue. Um, uh, a lot of us in allowance last month, or this month, rather, we didn't get anywhere near spending all that. Still can't figure this out. So, hopefully... By, by doing this, I'm going to be able to figure out, hopefully, where this is going, because I don't know. So, anyway, all right. Um, the first thing to do is to start with the bills. This month, everything's on the right-hand side. Uh, that's just the way it goes. I pay something every week. This week is, or this month, I'm going to split our cable bill up into three payments, so that I won't have so much at the end of the month because now I have the health insurance that comes out at the end of the month. That way I won't be taking like half a paycheck paying just those two bills, you know. So that's what I'm thinking about doing is just splitting it up into three payments because they don't care how I pay it as long as it gets paid. I can split it up any way I want to. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do to probably make it easier I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about it. So, the first thing, I guess, is going to be to put out what I know we're going to be spending for, and that's going to be our prescriptions, which I know, unless, and hopefully, I won't have to have anything else after this round of antibiotics, which I've been on antibiotics for like a month. So, hopefully, after this round, I won't have to have anything else, and I will have to get is just our regular prescriptions, which will be $16. Um, because my other two I've already got, and they got this for 90 days. So, the next thing that we're going to have is going to be the house. Um, the house. Our, my in-laws own the house, and so we pay, in lieu of rent, we pay all the repairs, we pay all the insurance taxes and whatnot. So, the house insurance will be paid on the 5th, and it's $41 a month. And then uh, our renters comes out automatically. Let 
the house is actually not $41 a month. It's actually like $38, but since the renters is $41, I'm paying $41 on the house too. So that'll knock it down a little bit at the end. Um, so, okay, if I do, let me skip over cable for right now. So renters in the house, and then going on to the phone will be on the 12th. Cell phone, and that's 50 and then I'll have the lights, which hopefully will be no more than 110. Hopefully, no more than 110, <laughs> which is ridiculous in the wintertime, but that's another story. Um, okay, the 21st will be the car insurance, and it is $51 a month. The 20th will be water. And it's 50. It's always 50. It's like, it's always 49, 50, 51. So it's always like right at 50. Um, the health insurance. It's 136. Now, cable. I'm going to need one more for cable because we're going to split this up into three payments. It's... Trying to do both of these at the end of the month is too much because that's going to take an entire paycheck. And even though there will be money in there, I don't like the idea that it's going to take a whole paycheck. So, yeah, we're not doing that. So, let's grab one extra of these. And we'll just put it right here. Hopefully in a semi-straight sort of way. And we are going to... Whoops. We are going to split that up into three payments because even if I did it here, that's still going to be quite a bit coming out of one check. If I do all the cable plus the water plus the car, that'll be an awful lot coming out. So let's just do... Uh, all right, let's see what I've got to do here. i got to do if I do let me figure in my head right quick. Uh, we'll do 65. Yeah. That'll put me over. So, we'll put back 65, one third, we'll put back 65 for one third of the cable, okay, now that'll put me a little bit over what the cable actually is, but if I do 65 a week, that'll work out okay. So I'll have those there. All right, so that's everything there that's mandatory. Then we're going to have savings here every week. The goal is to put 50 back every week. I put 50 back. Well, I lied. I put um, in January, well, this month I put back a um, hundred dollars the second because the first week he only had a one day paycheck which was basically nothing so I put back a hundred dollars the first week and then fifty dollars the last three paychecks I put back fifty dollars each week in savings so the goal is to put back fifty dollars every payday hopefully um, he won't have another holiday until May which will be the next time that he should have a short check. So that should get me built up until then, and then taxes will be coming out. So um, that's the bill situation for now. Hopefully that's going to be all of that. Um, I did have some of these left over, so I've started a projected total thing. Um like I said, he doesn't make a whole lot of money, so he should bring in roughly $2,100 after taxes. 
if things stay the way they are now. I'm looking to hopefully get at least $100 a month, every month, extra income. That's just selling random things here and there on eBay, Poshmark, or Etsy. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. I've been fortunate. I've hit at least that the last three months. This month, I'm not quite there. I'm almost there, but not quite. Um, but it is the month after Christmas, so that's a little bit slow. So, we've got... The same thing, our projected bills here. For gas, I'm going to budget $60 because I don't go anywhere. Where I do go, I mean, $10 worth of gas will last me over a week usually because everything is within, you know, five, six miles. So that's really close. And then I have our regular um, insurances here. For groceries, I'm going to budget $250. And I'm going to hope that's going to be enough because, like I told him, I said, okay, that's our downfall is groceries. We're buying way too much stuff we don't need. Dining out is another big problem. When, when me and him go out to eat, we don't go out very often. Sometimes we'll go out once a week, but when we go, we have a coupon. We don't usually go unless we have a coupon. Or, if we don't have a coupon, then we'll go, like, you know, to McDonald's and get us off the dollar menu. Go to Wendy's and get that $4 deal or whatever. So, the problem is, has been his breakfast. He eats breakfast out every morning. So, it's usually, uh, like, between $20, $25 a week. That adds up at the end of the month to be a lot of money. That could be going towards something else. We used to cook his breakfast every night, the night before, and pack it up for the next morning so he'd take his breakfast, take a breakfast sandwich. We need to get back into the habit of doing that to save that at least $60. Well, it, actually, he's spending more than that because if he's spending 20, say $20 a week, uh, Plus, they go out every Thursday to eat. So, that's putting him at over $100 a month eating out. Which, we've got, we've got to stop that. So, <laughs> we've got to at least get it down to 60 or less. Or less. Way less. I'm thinking 60 just for me and him going out. And that's if we treat ourselves to go to like Ruby Tuesdays or something once a month. So, we, we're going to have to pull the reins in really tight on that. Um, prescriptions, hopefully I won't have to have any more. Kerosene, I'm going to budget $100 and hope we don't need any more than that. Hopefully, we won't need that much, but that's what we're going to budget for for our kerosene heater. Um, allowances, I'm going to budget $100 for the both of us. Instead of $75, like this month, we didn't spend anywhere near that i think speaking like 50 dollars between the two of us so that's what we're going to budget for allowances and then for thrifting which is for our resale i'm a reseller on ebay poshmark and etsy so i'm going to budget a hundred dollars for that we don't spend anywhere near that per month like we might spend well, put it on. Put it this way: on a normal month, we don't spend that much on thrifting. So, um, we need for that trend to continue. As a matter of fact, I got some stuff I need to take back over there now. So, I'm going to budget a hundred dollars for thrifting anyway. That's going to put me up to three for that. So, I had had this. Let's see. So, if we go with if we go with this. The way I have it laid out right now. Sorry about that. If we go with this the way I have it laid out right now. And I don't add or anything else to it. And nothing goes over. That should still leave us around about 900 and something dollars left over for the month. We're not having that much left over. We had... I put 300 in saving for this month, and we didn't have anything left over, and we should have had. Now, granted, yes, we had to have, we had to buy some stuff for his truck. That took some extra money. I wasn't planning on. We had to buy his truck tag, 
So with the truck tag, with the truck parts, that was an extra, well, I can't even count that one because he bought that out of his money that he had put back. But anyway, that was an extra, oh, what, 90, 50, that's an extra $160, I guess, that we didn't budget on. Yeah, about $160. Plus the extra hundred that he spent, or the extra hundred fifty that he spent, out of what he had stashed back, and so that's what we've got up there. Where that I don't understand where it's going, because I've been writing down every single thing that we spent. Like last week, I wrote down every single thing we spent every single day. Doing the same thing this week. We're going to figure out where it's going one way or another. And I don't I don't know where it's going. So, it's <laughs> it's a puzzlement. Okay. So, anyway. That's what we've got for now. Um, I'm going to try to do this once a week. So, we can check in and see where we are. As far as spending is going. Um, I was using the trackers out of i think this book for yeah these ones i'm using these ones for daily spending so uh i'm probably gonna start a different paper up i don't know one back of one of these and we'll use those and we'll see where we're at at the end of every week so starting uh, Monday, starting Monday, it's going to be tracking every single day, and then it, what was paid, how much he brought in, and what was paid, and whatnot. So then at the end of the week, on Saturday, I'll add it up, see what we, see what he brought in, see what we spent, see where we're at. So we're going to try to do this once a week. Um, so stick with me. Okay. Um, thanks for tuning in. This is my first budget video. Hopefully, um, we're going to do some more. Like I say, I'm planning on doing this once a week to see what's going on. Like I said, we got to get a game. We got to get a handle on it. We got to get a grip on it. We got to figure out what is happening to the money because neither one of us have been able to figure this out yet. So, um, it wasn't much, but I hope you enjoyed what little bit it was. I, like I said, I had went ahead and decorated this beforehand because the stickers were crooked. I couldn't see what I was doing. It was getting on my nerves, whatnot. But, you know, being transparent with everybody, like I said, I don't mind sharing the income because, we, you know, we don't make a lot. So, it's not like, you know, we're making $15,000 a month or anything. Oh, no way. So, it's kind of like, you know, budgeting on a budget. There we go. That's what we're going to go with. So, um, hang in there with me until the end of next week. And then we will do a recap of the week and see where we stand. And then every week after that, we're going to try to get this done. And hopefully, we can figure out where the money's going. And, um, yeah. See if we can't get some more savings built up. So, that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in and hanging out with me. And for those that are subscribed, thanks for subscribing. If you have not, please hit that subscribe button below. I'd love to have you join me. Um, especially now since we're starting this budget thing. And hopefully we can get this rolling and get some savings built up. Let's keep our fingers crossed, okay? So, yeah, that's it for now. So, until next week, take care of yourselves, and I will see you next weekend. Bye for now.